Hello there Lunar Squadron and welcome back to the channel. Today we have a very exciting Star Wars Outlaws news update video as the official Twitter account for the game has confirmed that Star Wars Outlaws has gone gold and today we're going to talk all about it and break down everything you need to know but first if you're new to the channel we would love to have you as always and the way to do that just go down below this video hit that little subscribe button the bell notification right on next to it it'll notify you every single time that Andreas and I upload. And if you would like to take this conversation beyond the comment section on YouTube, make sure to head over to Twitter and follow us at Lunar Squadron or join our Discord server. Link to all of that information will be down below. Now with all that out of the way, Andreas, are you ready to talk about Star Wars Outlaws being ready to go? Oh yeah, let's do this guys. Just yesterday, the official Star Wars Outlaws Twitter account tweeted, hashtag Star Wars Outlaws has gone gold. Our team can't wait for you to start exploring the Outer Rim and living the life of a scoundrel August 30th can't come soon enough. Nick, I know there's been a lot of evolution around the term going gold. It originated with printing CDs and, and it indicated when a game was ready to be printed and shipped, but what is the modern take on what going gold means? What does this news mean for everybody? Yeah, this is very exciting. Basically, in theory, that means that Massive has finished the game. The game is ready to go in its current build, and this is so incredibly exciting. And and now they can start shifting their focus to you know those day one, week one patches, post-launch content, polishing up the game for the next two months. But the basic build of this game is ready to go and be sent out to retailers. The game is done, and and this is so exciting. And Andreas, what what's really fascinating about this going gold right now is the fact that we are roughly two months away from the release date still. This seems very early for this game to go gold, especially when you look at Massive's most recent game with Avatar Frontiers of Pandora, with that game not going gold until roughly three or so weeks before the official release date for that game. And if I remember correctly, even Star Wars Jedi Survivor went gold relatively late in the process. So to me, Andreas, this game going gold two months ahead of its release date means really good things for this game. To me, that means that Massive believes in the current build of this game, that this game has a strong foundation, that they're ready to rock and roll with this. And that just gets me very excited about what we're going to be getting our hands on here in two months. Yeah, and I, I think the best thing that we can confirm based on this news is first and foremost, if anybody in the room was worried about any sort of delay for this game, I think we can completely throw that out at this point. I don't think I was concerned about a delay for this game, particularly coming out of SGF. We heard from people who had hands-on experience with the game, and of all the criticism that there was, being that this game was too similar to Uncharted and some other complaints that people had, I don't recall any performance-based complaints from testers that this game is glitchy or that it's lacking that polish. Actually, I've heard quite the contrary in the reviews that I've reviewed thus far that people were surprised by the polish level of this game. And so I was not really worried about a delay. And this just is another data point that confirms that this game is in fact coming in August 30th. And Nick, like you mentioned, the fact that they've gone gold this early in advance of that release date does show that this massive team, they've got their tails up. They are feeling confident about this game and, and they feel like they have a polished product and are ready to go on to that next step that step of working on the day one patch. And of course, this game also is unique in that it has a season pass where they're having additional stuff that they are going to be shipping post-release. And so they can start focusing their energy on all of that goodness. And, and I think this is all just a sign of a healthy release that it's going to be a happy landing here. Yeah, and I'm happy you brought up the reviews or the previews from SGF because I feel like with the footage that we were given and able to take a look at, we felt the same way. We felt that there was a level of polish that even we were 
a little surprised about when it comes to this game. Just stuff you notice in the environment with like the stormtrooper checkpoints and just how alive the world seemed. And and I love that Massive is going to be getting two months here to just put the finishing touches on this game. I think that is something that modern day gaming is really missing right now. I mean, how many games come out that just feel broken or the fidelity is all messed up or or the gameplay is broken and there's glitches and things clipping through walls and stuff like that? Well, now Massive has singled that, hey, we are confident in the current build of our game and now we get two months to just work on it, add extra polish, add extra things to this game in terms of making it good and ready to go. And, and that could be huge for this game. That really could make the difference. I mean, two months when it comes to this kind of stuff is a very long time. How many games come out in a broken state and then within a few months they are running perfectly and everyone's like, man, they should have just held onto this game for an extra few months and let it bake a little longer. Well, that's basically what Massive is doing here. They finished the game two months early. So in a way you could look at it like this game getting a two month delay for them to finish the game but instead they've just finished it early. So I think they did a really good job of putting a release date out there or targeting a release date that was more than realistic for this game. It's almost a cautious release date because in theory, this game could be coming in two or three weeks if they really wanted to, but now they get to hold on to it for two extra months and add that extra polish. And I think that is a great decision by Ubisoft and Massive going into this game, especially just, you know, given the reputation, whether that's fair or not, that Ubisoft has in the past, if they truly are going to spend the next few months getting this game even better than its current state, that could be huge for the reputation of Massive and Ubisoft going forward, and that is great for them. Also, this gets me excited about the marketing side of this game. Now that the build of this game is ready, Perhaps the marketing team could go wild over the next two months with what they can show us additional gameplay, maybe some more trailers. I mean, they really could do whatever they wanted to. The sky is the limit here at this point. And I really do think we are going to have a very exciting next two months as we ramp up the marketing and ramp up the hype going into the release date of Star Wars Outlaws. It's just, as far as being a Star Wars gaming fan, Andreas, I'm feeling really damn good right now. Yeah, I am too. I think it's undeniably of just a really exciting time to be a, a Star Wars gaming fan because, I mean, how, how many times do we get to say that we've got an open world AAA Star Wars game just over the horizon that's that's printed and ready to go? I mean, it's, it's kind of hard not to get caught up in the hype of that. And um, that said, Nick, I also do want to pump the brakes a little bit. I know we've been overwhelmingly positive about this as, as going gold is a positive sign at this point. But one thing that I do want to caveat is that going gold at any particular point is not a guarantee that a game will be shipped in a perfect state, that it won't have any bugs, that it won't be glitchy. For all we know, it could be at this stage, but all we can do is look at the evidence that we have in front of us and thus far we have the early access gameplay that we were provided by Ubisoft. We haven't conducted any play tests thus far, but hopefully we're able to do that at some point before release. And of course, if we are given that opportunity, we will be sure to report to all of you on how that experience goes and if it is as polished as it looks at this stage. Yeah, you bring up a great point about still being cautious because every game technically has to go gold, right? Like at some point, every game has to be ready to ship and that doesn't mean that it's going to be perfect. But what has us excited is the fact that this game has gone gold two months ahead of its release date. So they're not getting a week to put together the finishing touches and the day one patch. They are getting two months, which in terms of game development is a very long time and could be the difference between life or death when it comes to a game. So that is what has us so excited about this news. So guys, let us know your thoughts down below in the comments. We are officially in the end game now. The release date is coming. We're only two months or so, even a little less than two months away from the official release of Star Wars Outlaws. And I want to know what you guys are most excited about when it comes to this game. Is it the open world? Is it the story? Is it a particular character? Are you excited to learn more about MD5 or Nyx or something? Just let us know all of your thoughts down below. This really is an exciting time right now. Anyway, guys, that is going to do it for us for this one. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, we will see you all next time.